G'day everybody, it's me again. I've been uh, mucking around with uh, the IGB T brick uh, flyback driver again. And you can see a bit more of the circuit in detail there, the big snubber capacitor, amp meter, and uh, the controls in the background. The frequency I don't adjust, only the pulse width. And uh, we're running off the uh, power supply up there, the big photocopier supply, 750 watts or uh, 24 volts at 31 amps. And uh, I'm going to do some arcs for you here. Um, we'll draw about 10 amps, maybe maybe 12 from the supply. Just run it shortly. Let you guys see that uh, you can get quite a varied uh, arc out of it by adjusting the amount of current that flows by adjusting the pulse width modulation. Um, sounds very Nergilon, doesn't it? But uh, anyway. Uh, 19, nearly 20 kilohertz of switching out. That's 5 amps. Yeah, about 4 actually. It's 5 amps. I'm try to push it up to 7. It's 10. And it starts to burn the shit out of itself. That arc is making a shitload of current. An absolute shipload of current. I didn't say shit, I said ship. About two and a half amps. Fourteen. And yeah, I think that'll do it for today. Just check the temperatures here. Yep, we are stable, 27 degrees on the IGBT. And the flyback's up to 33 degrees, so the only one really complaining there is the flyback. And uh, that's it. I'm going to do more testing. I'm going to set up for a uh, continuous run later on. I'll chuck it in the uh, workbench outside. And I'll leave it running for about 20 minutes and then come back and see if it's still working. Uh, for that test I'll be putting a 15 amp fuse in line. And uh, we'll see how that goes, but uh, later on. Thanks for watching guys, and uh, yeah.